Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Theodora. Where we are blasting our way through the Nubian Empire with our extremely highly leveled uh, bombards. We finally made our way to Kumasi. It might give it the old liberation before we head down to the south. I'm quite happy with the fact that we have an extra far ranged bombard. Um, we are slowly collecting more nitre to continue to upgrade this whole group of catapults and trebuchets and stuff. I can't wait to upgrade another bombard to add to this bombard core and have a bombard army running around. It's going to be a slow grind for a little while, although that is kind of to be expected when you get to the point of the game where you have bombards. Like, bombards are not fast weapons by any measure. Now, when I say that, like, they can be fast, but they're not inherently fast. Um, and so what I mean by that is, if you get bombards in the, like, right timing, they can do a lot of work really quickly. But we got our bombards, I wouldn't say late, but fairly, you know, reasonably not early might be a good way to put it. And so we can kind of expect our bombards to take a little bit longer to blast down through cities. So I want to go from Kherson to Mohenjo-Daro. That's the trade route that I want to do. So I'll move this trade route to Kherson. Boom. And then we'll send that to Mohenjo-Daro to try to maximize the total amount of gold that we're getting out of our empire. We also need to be pillaging for cash where we possibly can do so. She does want peace, but I'm not looking for peace. Um, I tell you what I will do. I will move this bombard to here and then I'll use Hippolyta to reactivate it. And then I'll move this bombard to here. And now we are in position to do some work. We get a little bit of pillaging going on. I'm feeling pretty happy about the level of pillaging that we've managed to do. We will be liberating Kumasi. We got the Stupa in Rio de Janeiro. We could go for the Hippodrome. It's honestly not a terrible move. Hippodrome here is plus three, plus it also would give adjacency to this holy site that'll eventually get adjacency from this holy site. It'll bring it down slightly um, in the meantime, but I think that's something I'm willing to do. We are getting oil from a city-state, which I'm very happy about because that does mean we can get artillery. Um, and artillery are fast, no matter what phase of the game you're at. Artillery are fast because... They, um, they, what you call it, they have just a lot of power and they can get a lot of range. And there's a lot of like stuff around, like adjacent to the artillery itself that is really useful. Things like supply convoys and so on and so forth that just make them really, really fast. And when I say fast, what I mean is how quickly they take down a city and how quickly do they get to the front line. How quickly do they do the job that they were intended to do. That is what I mean by fast. So I'm hoping to get this Kurasir out of He. I don't know if he's going to survive. He is pretty heavily promoted, but he's in a fairly vulnerable position with two city shots potentially hitting him and potentially even a Corsair. He, he might die. And to be fair, considering these guys are basically free, if they die, it's not a big deal because they've served their purpose, not only killing enemy units, but also pillaging out resources for me. Yeah, it looks like he did manage to get a couple of his units killed attacking me, which is fine. All part of the plan. We do need to get rid of this field cannon. I can one tap this field cannon. I think if I blast it with you, I can one tap it. Oh, not a one tap. Uh, well, let me wake up this then. Retreat it a tile and move you to here and we will put Hippolyta here. Um, you need to step here and then here to try and survive. This field cannon might blast you. That's okay, I'm willing to lose that. You're a little bit hurt. There's no farms in the area or places you can get work done. So we'll just continue to pillage, try to make that work. You'll, you'll tank a hit for me. I do have governor titles, but I don't think they really matter. I guess I'll take Embrasure here. Why not? And we do have a Golden Age secured, and the age is ending soon. We just got mobilization. Let's go ahead and head, head towards Fascism. Fascism will give us plus five combat strength on all of our units. And we can start now um, the road to incorporating trebuchets into this bombard core that is blasting the city. We did get a lighthouse over here so we can get another trade route. What is the best trade route in my empire? It looks like it's Nicopolis to Nazca. Let's do that. I will buy the trader in here. The lighthouse has been completed. We could probably use a builder in here. We could also build a hippodrome. Not a bad city for a hippodrome, um, but I think I'll go for like a couple of builders, chop them out, retool this landscape and then go for the hippodrome. I think that's a little bit more reasonable for me to do. I will plug in Levy on Mass to save me 52 gold per turn. That's beautiful. Forced modernization is also totally fine. We're trying to preserve gold right now. That's like the big thing that we are lacking. Part of me wishes I didn't go for cross-cultural dialogue, but honestly, it's giving me a huge amount of science. 37.5 science. It's almost a third. In fact, it's more than a third of my science. Okay, so we lost a unit there. Almost lost a unit here. That's fine. He's a little bit annoyed about my spreading of my religion. Um, it's God's will that people believe in my ways. Who am I to stop it? My people will just spread my religion. Oh, we fought off an emergency against me. So I think there was a huge religious pressure bomb in the city of Salvador de Bahia. 
where was that? That was here. And that just like converted half the continent. That's amazing. Um, we're having a little bit of a moment. Let's go ahead and retreat you to that tile because you need to heal. I will retreat you to Faras to heal. You need to pull in here and kill this ranged unit. Thank you. Perfect. Um, you are ready to blast the city. So one blast. Then we will wake you up and allow you to blast again. I'm going to... What do you have again? You have the crew weapons promotion. I'm going to upgrade you to a bombard. And next turn, you'll eat that guy. I completed a shrine here in Recife. We will continue to pump up our faith. Faith is the best way for us to acquire heroes. Speaking of heroes, actually, maybe it'd be good to get Honapu and Exalblanke left again. And um, we got 33 turns so we can play around with them. We got the arm reinforced to laser. Let's go for the academy so that we can push for the late game military production. Um, Kurasi are here. Pillage for culture. I need to move my Kurasis into position. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade you into a Kurasi or core. Yeah, if we could start to get a few Kurasir armies on the front line, I think that'll start to open up some potential for us. Major victory here on this attack. I'm quite happy with that. My knee hangs doing work. Um, I don't know if I've actually built an armor yet. Yeah, it looks like we have actually built, or sorry, military academy. We have, so we've got the full 80 combat strength knee hang. I'm going to go ahead and faith purchase another knee hang to add to this. Let's trade with Mahindra Darrow for another 12 gold per turn. We're positive on gold and we are pillaging for gold. So that's all kind of coming coming together in, in a beautiful way. All right, I should probably wake up Sun Wukong because I think he could actually be pretty useful here. Oh, he's taking a bit of damage. He might survive and I am on a entertainment complex, which is a pillage for health. So electricity has advanced. Now you've got quite a lot of units shooting you. So what I want you to do is to pillage for health and then promote. I'm going to step you where? Step you there. You're going to pillage for health. I'm going to bring this cavalry in and eat you. You're going to eat this guy. Um, you're going to heal. Let's get the one and then the wake up and then the two and then the consume. So there's combined arms. Perfect. So Kamasi is already starting to crumble. The city is starting to take real damage from our thingies. I can bring my hero up. He probably doesn't have long left. That's okay. Uh, what were my other heroes? Oya. Oh, yeah. So she needs... I need to wait until the next era before I can recruit her again. I've got my second privateer. Let's get a third privateer. I'd like a few privateers running around. We just finished a hippodrome, which means more cuirassiers. Let's continue to consume. Let's build another arena. Military academy in Salvador de Bahia, which means we can do stuff like starting to produce cuirassier armies. It's a very long time to produce an army, especially in a city that wasn't geared for production. Um, so maybe we will do like a builder or something. Let's take... Well, no, I don't I don't want to take over suzerainty of Nazca. As much as I would like that, I think... I'm not going to do it because I need to maintain suzerainty of my existing city-states. I need to be suzerain of Mohenjo-Daro because I have trade routes with them. I need to be suzerain with Lahore because they provide me with very important unit. I need to be suzerain with Kabul because they provide me with a lot of production. So what I might do here is instead I might do this and then save an envoy. And this way... Oh, we found... Um, Hercules. But this way, now we have maxed out relationships with both of these, so we're getting plus three production towards our units in every city that produces units with a fully built encampment, which is places like Salvador de Bahia. Maybe it would be good to run a project to get some great people. Let me have a look. So the great general situation... Hmm. It's looking a little bit... It's looking like it might be a little bit shaky here. Right, let's go ahead and blast Kumasi. Its walls should be basically broken. Yeah, so next turn we should be able to start, uh, like, really bringing that city down. The nice thing about Huanapu is they uh, they steal the life of our enemies. Let's go ahead and get the military academy in Adrianople. We are now starting to generate, actually, quite a healthy number of great general points, which is making me feel pretty good about the whole situation in general. You get what I'm saying? My great general situation is making me feel good in general. <laughs> Let's go ahead and faith buy a Nihang army. They're only like a thousand faith. It's like a pretty good price. It's like equivalent with a hero. They're pretty strong. It's a fully equipped unit with really good XP gain. 75% uh, XP gain, all that stuff. All right, there is like a big old religious battle going on here, which is uh, making me a little uncomfortable. There's the Terracotta army. So this is a really momentous moment for us because it's going to allow me to upgrade all of my units, including my spies. Even my spies will get level ups and leveled up spies are much more effective than unleveled spies because you need to get two promotions on your spies in order for them to give you plus six combat strength. So quite a helpful moment here. Um, I do have a promotion on these guys, but there's not really much point in taking it because it doesn't, doesn't make him blow up the city much faster. Hippolyta will blow last you. Hwanapu will blow up the city and then we will take Kumasi. And now the goal with Kumasi is to actually liberate it. 
which might sound a little bit mental, but by being suzerain of them, I'm now getting plus two culture and plus one gold for every specialty district in the origin city when I send trade routes, which, you know, at the moment, admittedly, isn't going to be much when I check my trade routes, right? It's just like a little bit of culture. I think, though, it opens up the potential for me to continue to develop that relationship. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I'm going to purchase the lighthouse. I'm going to... Uh, I guess, where's my next best trade route? That's the real question. Nicopolis to Nazca. I thought I did that one. Oh, Constantinople to Nazca. Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and faith by a trade. Wait, why can I faith by traders? Am I still in a monumentality golden age? Oh my God, I am. Jesus. Need to liberate Cahokia and upgrade this oil. Okay, Terracotta Army is completed in Constantinople. What do we want to do next in here? Probably start off some new artillery stuff. Maybe some support unit stuff, like maybe a military engineer to get some railroads on the go. We're quite a ways away from researching railroads. So maybe that's not the play. Uh, maybe it would be good to get some basic cavalry armies to run around and pillage. Those might be good options. We have met John Curtin, who is definitely going to be my late game nemesis here. Yep, he's got 195 science per turn. Yeah, that's what I expected. He's going to be the late game juggernaut that I need to take on. I mean, you know, it's John Curtin. He's always going to be like stupidly far ahead in technology. He always just has really good campuses. It's just, it's the natural order of Civ. If John Curtin's in the game, he's a pain in the ass. Right, let's go ahead and continue to bombard the city of He. And it is going rather well. I need more bombards, believe it or not. Let's turn this into an army. Perfect. We've got the city of He kind of somewhat surrounded. Not a full surround, but it's kind of, kind of surrounded. We'll pillage this. We're not really much in the way of pillages out here. I am really looking forward to getting a hold of this oil. In fact, can we maybe do something to Kawa here and uh, get this oil up and running a little bit sooner? I think we take two arms here. 50% production towards military units, 75% less grievances when I declare my wars. And we will be declaring wars soon. It might be, Maybe it's time to get our privateers in on the action. Both of them will have the loot promotions for coastal raiding, which means there's a whole bunch of money just sitting here on the coastline for us to scoop up from Egypt. And yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll do that relatively soon. We did get the stupa in Antioch. We could start building the zoo. By the time we finish the zoo, we'll probably have combustion if we so much as pillage a single commercial or a single campus. Let's make sure we're getting the stupas. We need to keep the amenities high and ancient walls are completed in here. I don't remember why I built the ancient walls, but I did. Let's keep on building some cavalry to join the front line. I've got three envoys. I could start building up my relationship with Nazca. One, two, three. A little bit spooky to do at this moment, but no one else is close to stealing my other city state, so I feel kind of comfortable doing it. This will get me a ton of extra faith. I'm up to 500 faith per turn, which feels like a really good place to be. Right, you have a promotion here. Go ahead and take Barding. Then I want you to eat him, and then I want you to take a promotion as well. You'll take charge, and then these two guys, after they eat each other, they'll be a very, very powerful alliance. Okay, here's the campus pillage we were looking for. That should finish us steel and stuff like that. And we'll be looking for um, we'll probably look to upgrade to artillery after we blow up He. I don't think it would be worth it to step back, promote and then come back. He wants a joint war with Lady Six Guy. I don't see a reason to. So by the end of this era, I probably want to be at war with every Sith in the game. But just so I can take advantage of the Golden Age War. Let's go ahead and blast Kawa and then we'll blast Kawa. Boom. We'll keep the city. Now, it might flip independent here. It's actually only minus five loyalty. What? How is it only minus five loyalty? That's insane. I guess Moksha can handle that. Boom. So cow is mine. We'll make sure we buy this tile. We do need to get a builder, and we will do that. So you have the ancient... Sorry, we have the holy site in Kherson. Kher... Kherson... We'll take a few farms. We've got a couple of mines. What else do we need to do in here? I guess I'll take this oil, because it's a high productive tile. I suppose we get started on the Hippodrome. There's a plus three Hippodrome right here, and theoretically it can be plus four if I replace that mine with a farm. So we'll get that Hippodrome started. That'll be the step towards combustion. Boom, we pillage for this. That'll shave two turns off from combustion. Now we're on the road to getting tanks. That's the road we wanted to be on. Blast you. Blast you. He's dead. Nice big kill. A one blast. A two blast. The city of He will fall. Fall, 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 fall. All right, lovely. So killing that unit converted them to the city. We got a bunch of error score. We'll be keeping that city. Uh, we'll be upgrade to artillery here with this bombard army next turn. We have three oil per turn, which means we can do up to three artillery armies. Let's make this happen. Um, so this will require like a little bit of careful navigation. One, two, three, 
three. So these three will get combined. Then one, two, three. These three will get combined. And then this guy will get promoted. And that covers all three of my oil income. So that's perfect. I'll lose like a little bit of oil in the transition period. But yeah, things are about to get crazy, which is quite lucky because Hipp Hippolyta is kind of running out of charges. And when I say charges, I mean, she's going to die soon. And when I say she's going to die soon, I mean... Her lifespan's ending. When I say her lifespan's ending, I'm running out of ways to say this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I might have traded, a, I might have used up all my gold upgrading there. Um, right, so maybe I can sell off like a chunk of oil for cash. Okay, nice. Now you become an artillery. Perfect. Then I need to combine these artilleries together. And then you guys need to eat each other. Boom, boom, boom. So that's three artillery armies ready to flow to the front line. Perfect. So the transition has begun. All right, let's blast the city of Shiat. And then it should be open to being attacked by cavalry, which it is. Um, I will wake up this unit and blast it again. Then I'll use Hippolyta to kill this. Perfect. Um, we'll shoot the city ahead. Can I get a unit here to hit that? No, not yet. I mean, Wukong's just swooping in, doing big old damage. Damage. Kerma's gonna flip independent, so I just probably just have to go to Moreau and that'll flip on its own. Take out Nuri. We don't even need to kill them, although maybe I would like to liberate Bologna. Um, and rather than bring all of my artillery down to the south, I think I'm actually going to start making moves on Cahokia. That's flipping independent in five turns, so I should be able to liberate that out without um, much fanfare and get access to that really nice oil right there. I have access to another three oil per turn, which is another potential three artillery armies. I might save those for tank armies because I have a lot of cavalry knocking around and I'm also building a lot of... Although, actually, I think these guys don't take resource maintenance costs. So these are just going to be free tanks that I have. Sun Wukong has died. I thought, I'm thought i surprised. I, don't, I thought that wasn't the first time he died, but I did just get his relic, I guess. Uh, we'll pillage here. Uh, we'll quickly take the city of Shat. It's dead. Jim. I'll move my artillery here. I'll wake my artillery up. It'll move a tile closer. Next turn, it'll start blasting Moreau. Start moving my knee hangs in deep. Start moving my cuirassiers in deep and start pillaging out more stuff. Um, there's like a little bit of cuirassier action going here on the east side. We'll go ahead and kill that and improve our giga holy sites as we should. We got an art museum in Rio. I guess we can work on the zoo. Uh, ancient walls completed in Faras. We definitely want the holy site. There's a plus two here. It's a plus one there. Could be a plus two. These are not very good holy sites. What if I move the holy site to... I can't swap those tiles. Just not very good holy sites, I'm afraid. I'll take a plus two. I can turn that into a plus three eventually. Boom. And then we blast Moreau. Moreau. Boom. We pillage it all to a go. Oh, oh, oh. So I reckon the, the moment I have tanks, or at least a tank, we'll declare war on Egypt and kind of get that get that war war train a rolling. Um, I definitely feel like a mine here is fine. We need to replace a whole bunch of farms in here. Let's move Jose de San Martin. So he's industrial and modern. What is artillery? Artillery is modern. So I think having these artillery here be able to move and shoot would be really good because they're actually quite low level. Um, let's go ahead and keep chopping and doing all that changing. Chopping and changing. Let's blast Moreau. Boom and boom. Blow up that city. Keep that city. Okay, let's go ahead and promote the tank and we shall declare the war on our good friend Ramses. Sorry, I want to declare a Golden Age War, not a formal war. Almost made a bit of a misclick there. Dangerous times ahead, my friends. Let's go ahead and blast this district. We do have promotions. Oh, plus one range on that guy is actually a huge moment. Both these guys have plus one range, which could be game changing for us going forward. Cahokia has been liberated. I should probably may move into position to... Sorry, it's been... It's rebelled and I should probably liberate it is what I was trying to say. I'm kind of sad that I got no trade routes from conquering this empire. I was expecting like maybe a few trade routes here or there um, to help me along my way. Nice, we found Venice and we found Mogadishu. I want to put an envoy into both, but I also want to have the envoy card plugged in before I do that. The double envoy card, I mean. Let's blast that encampment. Okay, that encampment is now dead. Let's move this way and we will blast you. Let's kill that encampment. The encampment is now donezo for funzo. And let's start moving in with these uh, these privateers. Just killed a boat and got an AOE culture bomb, which feels good. Or a religious bomb, rather. Coastal raid, coastal raid, a little coastal raid for you. I think I just earned like 400 science and like a ton of gold coastal raiding there. Coastal raiding is, is one of the most powerful game mechanics. Uh, pillaging in general, I feel like 
No, originally pillaging just wasn't super great, but they really took it to the next level. I don't really care about this. I mean, I would kind of like to get the plus five loyalty per turn. I don't really care about population growth, but extra loyalty would be nice on the offensive. I will take newly built districts acting as culture bombs as well. That would be quite nice. Although people might downvote me and lower my culture growth, but that doesn't really matter either. We have ideology giving us access to another spy, and that means we're one step away from getting access to fascism. We have built a zoo in here. I've got a whole bunch of tanks moving towards the front line. Let's make sure that we blast Cahokia wide open. Boom. We take the city. We liberate it. Boom. And then uh, we keep converting. We keep killing. We've got to go for a poo. Sayest Thebes. The old domination is a happening. One blast and two blasts. El Karu will flip independent. Bologna might. I might bring this artillery down to deal with that. Do we want to bring back any heroes? We could bring back Oya and Sun Wukong. Is there a reason not to? I don't think there is. We may as well do it early in the era. If we're going to do it at all, we should do it now. Sun Wukong and Oya rejoin the fray. Alrighty, uh, we've got Nubia down to basically no cities. The war with Nubia is wrapping up. The war with Egypt is just getting underway. Uh, but I think it's going to be a fairly quick war with Egypt because we're like two-shotting cities. And when I say two-shotting, I, I mean technically three-shotting, right? Because it takes a tank and two artillery to kill it. But yeah, they're in pretty bad shape, all things considered. And we're getting good coastal raids off. Man, look at all that gold, all that faith. Got 13k faith in the bank. Should probably think about maybe making use of that. Um, you know, a little bit. Sun Wukong did a good job. Should maybe consider an artillery army. I'll, I'll buy an artillery core. Okay, artillery core plus a... We want to buy an artillery army down south. And the reason I bought the artillery corps is because I had the trebuchet here that I can upgrade. Who has a promotion? Where's my nearest fully built encampment? Probably going to be Salvador de Bahia. So I'm going to build another siege army down here. It's going to be probably two more artilleries. Boom, boom. So those two are going to start making their way down south. I will keep the city, of course, naturally. We'll get repairs underway. Um, but now we're getting into the we're getting into the swing of things. Now our conquest is going to to pick up pace. It's going to start to be extremely fast. Cities are going to get knocked down extremely quickly. And we're also making our way towards flight so that we can get bombers. Bombers are going to be the natural follow up to this. And that should, in theory, massively speed up the rate of conquest. My question is, do I go liberate Bologna? Honestly, I don't have that many campuses and I don't need that much more science, especially since I can pillage for science. So I think just letting Bologna and El Karu go their own way is the move here. I'm a little bit, a little bit sad Hippolyta will die soon, but at least I will get another resummon on her uh, in this era, I believe. Got a bunch of heroes down south. You go ahead and take a moment to just heal up. I love that some of my tanks are finally getting their double attacks. That's going to be really fun to use. Most of my tanks are going to be heading to the north. That's where the majority of these guys are going to go because I already have a bunch of Karassiers down south and they can just get upgraded and that'll be fine. That'll be their, you know, oh, the little, uh, little knight running around up here. That's okay. They can pillage. Do a little pillaging. So do I think I'm ready to declare war on Greece. I believe I'm actually quite a bit ahead of Greece technologically. I haven't seen his city combat strength yet, um, but I do think it's time to declare the Golden Age War on Greece and get that bad boy a clocking away. Yeah, these cities are going to crumble real easy. Like, let's start making some tanks. We're losing 92 gold per turn, which is obviously not great. We are at war with Nagaz Um, That's a pretty good city state. I would like to be friends with that. I think I would also much prefer to build up on my relationship with Venice and Mogadishu. So I'm going to take those because that's going to shave off a lot of that negative gold income. That's kind of like holding my empire back a little bit. Let's blast Sparta. We'll take it out. Oh, that didn't quite take it out. Can my tank get in range? Boom. Sparta down. First, well, second turn of the war, technically. And we've already got a city blasted. Hippolyta. Oh, I did not mean to put you on auto explore. I want to wake you up. Wake you up. Oh, apparently auto explore used up your movement. Nice. Nice meme. Let me turn off that god. Well, I actually, I think builder lens here is pretty appropriate based on the situation. There's like a little bit of oil, a little bit of uranium, all that kind of stuff that needs to get up. Wow. There's actually a ton of oil here that we need to get down. Loving the amount of oil. 
was a little bit worried earlier in the game that we wouldn't have enough oil this game. I'm feeling pretty damn good about the quantity of oil. Let's get another tank army. Need to be careful about how much I spend on that because that does make these units quite a bit more expensive. Um, and I'm using about using about 10% of my treasury per turn and I didn't get many pillages off in Sparta, but I think conquering quickly is just as valuable as getting a ton of pillages off. So yeah, we definitely want to switch over to fascism now because that plus five combat strength will continue to maintain our military superiority as well as the four um, military policy cards being a big help. Let's kind of like, let's, let's do a blank sl slate, right? Tabula rasa. Clear out the government completely. Third alternative, great. 40 gold, 20 culture. Levy on mass, 70 gold. Um, amenities could be real handy here. Liberalism. I think Republican legacy feels really good to me. I think this is definitely a game where we should have scripture plugged in. Liberalism is really powerful, I think. Martial law also is quite good. Less war weariness than usual. We could go for military organization, which would give us a ton of extra great general points. Um, that could be quite helpful. I like the idea of liberalism. The extra amenities just keeps my empire a lot happier. I don't need military research. I think having cheaper unit upgrades is a valuable thing. Logistics to move my units to the front line. And then it should really maybe be about unit production. So something like... Grand Army Lightning Warfare to be able to produce heavy cavalry units and light cavalry units faster because tanks are my main unit. Seems pretty good. Merge Confederation for cash again. Gold is currently my, my the yield I'm struggling with the most. So yeah, now we're actually not doing so bad on gold. We have amazing culture per turn. I th think we might want to go to like synthetic technocracy. No, sorry. Corporate libertarianism. Yeah. Yeah. Corporate libertarianism. That's a good military government right there. So are there any military policies I want to pick up on the way here? I'm just scrolling through the tree. I may as well get those envoys, get those envoys. And now we will make our way towards, I guess, just getting envoys. And then we'll go for corporate libertarianism. Boom. That's it. Decision made. Constantinople to Cahokia is my next trade route. We'll put you in there. I got a trader in here. Do we want more traders? We can't get more traders. We would like to get a supply convoy. So we'll go ahead and get to work on that. That'll give extra movement to our units, allowing them to get to the front line a little bit quicker. Yoinking settlers, pillaging cash, blowing up cities and smoking some cash by upgrading my tanks. Um, cross river, cross river, move you to here, eat him. You sweep across. You sweep across. Monument granary repair. Oh yeah, the conquest, my friends, is heating up. Maybe I'm going to plug out lightning warfare and replace it with total war. I think that might actually be better um, because I don't actually really need many more units. More so, I need my existing units to generate more resources while at war. Do you know what I mean? So like we need to be we need to be hitting the mines a little bit harder. We need to be hitting the pillages a little bit harder. Especially because not all of our armies are actually upgraded, which is a scoodly doop. A bit of a problem. I will bring back Hippolyta next turn, I think. Not quite ready for her to make a return to the front line, but she will be here soon. Let's get the war department so that my units will heal 20 health when they eliminate a unit. What to do with these envoys? Ooh, actually, stealing Namadal from John Curtin could be quite fun. But I think I'm more interested in maintaining the Susan trees that I have and then slowly fighting for a few more. I think I'll yoink Nazca. You always want to have an envoy in the bank just so you have the option of picking up new, um, picking up new city states or recapturing one that gets stolen from you. It's always good to just have them. I'm going to delete these settlers. I actually don't have a use for them at this stage of the game. If it was much earlier in the game and I was going to plant them down, yeah, sure. But it's turn 188 and we've conquered half the world. I don't think we need more settlers. I'm going to be honest with you. I think we're done. Any pillages in the house? Goodbye, Athens. You're mine. We're losing 15 diplomatic favor per turn, and yet somehow we still have some in the bank. I think, though, we're going to call that a wrap on this episode. We've managed to do a massive amount of conquest. Like, we blasted our way through a huge amount of the continent. We're up to 3,000 military score, 450 culture per turn, 250 science per turn. We're basically at the end of the tech tree. There's, like, a little bit more stuff to unlock. But tune in next time when we finish this game off. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.